everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Maruko goes on a field trip. Oh, good morning, Mom. How can you say that when it's so late? Hurry up and get yourself prepared. It's called a field trip, but it's actually hiking. It's so troublesome. Hurry up and eat your breakfast. It's leftover from lunch, but... Uh, it's a rice ball. I asked you to make some sandwiches. And why do I have rice balls? Sandwiches are more fashionable now. I don't want to go to the field trip. This is all your fault, Mom. Maruko, why do you dislike field trips? Your sister was so excited when she left this morning. Yeah, that's because Sis's year is going to the ocean. Maruko's year is in the mountain. You know it's so hard and painful. I don't like that. Going to the mountain is fun. It's not the only thing. In the mountain, there's no toilet. This is one of the reasons why Maruko is not able to enjoy the outdoor life. All you have to do is just relieve yourself in the bushes. Now, have a great time. Uh, I don't like this. A woman past her prime doesn't know what it's like to be embarrassed. <laughs> Maru-chan, what do you have in your water bottle? I brought some barley tea. I brought juice in it. Oh, I envy you. Uh, those of you in third grade, for this field trip, I have decided I will be mountain climbing together with you third graders today. Anyway, I'm glad it's a sunny day today. Oh, by the way, there is a mountain god at the mountain up there. So if you try and pull off any pranks up there, I think this is going to be a long speech. It seems like it. Uh, and then, and then if you, you happen to run into a bear up on the mountain, mountain please don't, don't try, try to fight, fight against it, but slowly uh, step back very calmly. That's all I have to say. Let's all have a safe and fun uh, field hiking day on our friends. I'm exhausted day. even before leaving for this field expect. trip. <laughs> Here, please take a seat according to what you drew the other day. <laughs> uh, I really wish that I had a seat next to Tama-chan. <laughs> sitting next to me is Maruko, huh? I might get even more exhausted just by sitting next to Yamada. Oh, hey, Maruko, your face looks pale. Did you get sick from the bus? Did you bring a Kitaro bag? Kitaro bag is a waste bag used when you get motion sickness. The name seems to come from the cartoon Gege Geno Kitaro. Well, everyone, good morning to all of you. Good morning, Good morning, you too! My name is Mariko Yamakawa, and I will be your tour guide for today's field trip. My name is Yamada, uh -huh. Joe! <laughs> Yamada-kun, nice to meet you. Well then, everyone, let's play a word game of cap verses. Please pair up with the person sitting next to you. The pair who makes a mistake will have to sing a song. What? Mariko, don't mess it up! <laughs> Yamada, that's what I should be saying to you. Then let's start from our eye for Shiratori game. Go! Squirrel! So, watermelon. Kappa! All right, Kappa. Mm, do you have anything? Pen! Uh, you know you shouldn't say a word that ends with N. Uh, 
I forgot. What do you know? not pants, but pants. He meant pants. Oh, pants is what she said. There are many other choices, like breadcrumb and bakery, but pants is her choice. But he already said pan first, so it's over, Boo. <laughs> now, Maruko-san and Yamada-kun, please go ahead. Uh, then we'll sing the frog chorus in a circular cannon. We sing joy! Yeah! This is a song about frogs. This is a song I about can start frogs. to hear them now. Ribbit, hey, ribbit, wait, ribbit. that part is too soon. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mountain boo! I see the mountain boo! Oh. 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 Yamada, Yamada! Hey, he's calling for Yamada! Yamada, everyone's calling for you! Ah. <laughs> the mountain, the mountain! I'm Yamada too! The schoolmaster will hike with the students in class four. Uh, let's have fun. Nice, nice to have you with us. us. Wow, they're azaleas. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, so many of them are blooming. Hey, how are you ladies? Let me take a picture of you with the beautiful flowers in the background. Oh, really? All right. All right. <laughs> smile, smile. Say cheese. Uh, Yamada-kun, you startled us when you jumped in like that, senior. You startled us there, senior. Senior. That was just a mimic of you, Joe. You. You, 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 Joe. I can't move anymore. It really is tough. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Everyone keep it up. We're almost at the top of the mountain. Uh, if you think you could no longer take another step, incline your body slightly forward, then your legs will move forward automatically regardless of your intention and position. That is a given. However, if you bend your back, your legs will move forward. See? What exactly is his point? That's true. Legs move automatically. <laughs> it's so true. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here, Here we go. go. Here Amaji we go. and Butaro are walking backwards. Yeah. If you climb this way, you won't get so tired. Give it a try, Boo. Uh -huh. Is it really true? Yeah, I feel like it's a bit easier. Oh. I don't think it's true, but... Oh, hey, everyone's doing it. <laughs> Everyone is hypnotized by the idea of walking backwards as being easier. Maruo-kun, even you. <sighs> Hey, Tama chan you want to walk the normal way now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, I'll do that, too. Ten minutes later, it's apparent that walking the normal way is the easiest. So the walking backwards thing, which was popular only moments ago, is no longer popular. Uh, huh? uh, we finally reached the summit! Let's have some lunch now. Yeah, let's do that. Tama chan, you have sandwiches. I envy you. Maru chan, you can have some. Oh, thank you. Then you can have my juice then, okay? Mmm. We're, We're gonna, gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> the sky is blue and the air is refreshing. It really feels so nice. Mmm. It's so fun to go on a field trip. It would be much better if we could reach the top right away. <laughs> Please gather around. We're heading back down now. It was hard to climb up, but it's much easier on the way down. Yeah, I can walk very quickly. Look at me! I'm running down this! Oh, down. Yamada, that's too dangerous. You're gonna fall. <laughs> oh, this is so easy. Whoa. Oh. Oh. I wonder if Yamada's gonna be all right. Oh, my. Are you all right, Yamada-ku? I think he's gonna be all right. Yep. Hanawa, you're cheating! Huh? Chit, chit, chit. Stop blaming me for doing nothing at all, guys. What's going oh. on? The snack we can bring is a maximum of 200 yen, you know? Yeah. He brought that expensive-looking chocolate here. Let's go tell Mr. Tagawa. Take it easy, guys. This is from home, so it's actually counted as free. If you guys want, I'll let you taste some of these delicious chocolates. They're made in France, you know. <laughs> I don't care for one. Yeah, I don't want one. I want one. 
Oh, Laura Chan! What's wrong with you? Where's your pride? That's because I want to eat some French made chocolate. It's marvelous how honest you are. Try this one. It's called a chocolate truffle. Yay! Yay! It's so good! The fragrance of cocoa, the velvety texture, it's sweet but not overwhelmingly sweet. It's so perfectly French, it's like the tricolor flag! So now you're a food critic? You should try one, too. No, I don't want one. Then, Hanawa-kun, will you give me one more? Uh, oh, please. I'll carry your camera and water bottle. Oh, oh, you don't have to do that. I'll just give you one. Yay! Thank you so much. I'll enjoy them thoroughly. I'm home now. Welcome home. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath first? Yes. Oh, friend. I love France so much. Oh, my. Look at this. She left her clothes on the floor. Oh. It must be a leftover snack. She put it in a place like this. Let's eat it. Wow! That's so good! <laughs> Honey, take a look at this. The snacks these days have gotten so much better. Here, give this one a try. What's this? A snack? Oh, you're right. It is really good. See? Maruko has no idea that the exquisite chocolate she got from Hanawa-kun are going down like gangbusters right in the very next room of her house. Uh, how lucky I am to be able to eat those rare exquisite chocolates with that melty texture. And I get to eat both of them myself. In this episode, Maruko has an unbalanced diet. Maruko, come over here. What is it? I can't take my hands off this. Just come with me right now. Ugh, you're so forceful. Hey, you didn't eat all of your school lunch again. How come you didn't finish all the food? That's because I can't eat it all. You know, two loaves are way too much to eat. You don't eat right, so it looks like you haven't gained weight at all. Look at your physical checkup. I didn't lose weight, so what's the problem? You're in your growth period now. I'm worried if you don't gain weight each month. Maybe there's something wrong with my body, so I probably have to take days off from school. Stop your nonsense. You have too many things you don't like. You always leave behind the dishes I take time to cook for you. It's discouraging to make an effort to cook. Then can you cook gratin and hamburger steak for supper tonight? And I promise to eat it all. I've already decided to cook fish and stir-fried vegetables for supper tonight. Make sure you eat all of it. <sighs> stir-fried vegetables and fish tonight, huh? It doesn't sound too appetizing to me. Hey, sis, did you know tonight is stir-fried vegetables and fish? How's that? No, I didn't, and how would I know that? Hey, sis, do you think that's the right kind of meal? I don't know. I'm not bothered about it either way. Hey, why don't we start to ask everyone what they want for dinner from now on? Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. What's your request, sis? Sushi or hamburger steak? Mmm, curry gyoza and spaghetti, maybe. Curry gyoza and spaghetti, huh? I admit you have great suggestions. This proves that you're my younger sister. Uh... I'm pretty sure that I'm your older sister, Maruko. How about deep-fried pork rice and ramen? Well, isn't that convenient? You remembered my favorite food. Grandpa? Mm? Can you tell me what kind of food you want to eat every day? Whoa, who, me? What do I like to eat? Well, uh, something that's not so hard to chew. Then you want something soft. Something that's soft. Anything else? No, nothing. Nothing? So you'll eat anything as long as it's soft? Yes, anything's fine with me as long as it's soft. Are you sure you're okay with that? You won't regret it? Softness is how you're gonna live out your life? Huh? My life? See ya. Wait a minute, Baruko! <laughs> what? I, I didn't think it was about the rest of my life, so I wasn't really thinking right. I don't want a life that's just about softness. Besides softness, can you please also add tasty next to that? Then I shall write down something soft and tasty. <sighs> I'm saved, I'm saved. <laughs> something soft, something that's tasty, is what I'd like to have. A haiku from Tomozo's heart. Hey, Mom, Mom, I 
made a list of dinner dishes for all of us. What? List of dishes? What's that? Here. It is a lot of requests by family members. Mm hmm. Huh. What a silly list this is. It seems like every day is a birthday party. You can't do it? No way! Besides, what is this? What do you mean by soft and tasty? This doesn't make any sense. Even though it's what I want? It's Grandpa. <sighs> My entire life. Is it hard and nasty? Uh, I will make sure only Grandpa's request is followed through. Something that's soft and tasty, right? I'm finished. Uh, Maruko, you didn't finish again. I'm really full already. Do you know, there are people in this world that can't eat even if they want to in certain countries. Then, uh, Mom, why don't you bring it to them? Uh now listen, Maruko. When I was a little kid growing up, we couldn't eat much at all because it was during the war. I'm so hungry! You shouldn't ask for too much. Now, don't be spoiled. Hear that? Grandpa went through some really hard times. Maruko, you're very lucky to be able to eat food. <laughs> listen to me, Maruko. When I was a little kid growing up, I couldn't eat much at all because it was during the war. He said it again. This time, he's showing a little bit of pride. Ugh, Mom is always getting on my case. Well, you know it's your fault because you always eat snacks before meals. By the way, sis, you're quite a big eater, aren't you? I'm having a growth spurt. Leave me alone. And the next day... Salted vegetables don't taste good. Yep, yeah, vegetables marinated with salt don't taste good. Ugh, I can't do it. I'm leaving it. I just can't get myself to eat it. I know, I'll just put it in my lunch bag and take it home with me. What? You're gonna put it in the lunch bag? The salad juice will make it wet. You probably shouldn't do it. What should I do? I just can't bear to eat it. Uh, huh? Panawa couldn't didn't eat his salted vegetables either. I'm sorry. You know, it's really not my kind of thing. When I eat fresh vegetables, what I do is I usually put some special gourmet French homemade dressing over it. I usually use mayonnaise, and even for me, it doesn't taste good. An owl gets to eat with special dressing. It's marinated with salt. Maruko! Why didn't you eat your vegetables again? Liquid is dripping from the lunch bag. That's because it really didn't taste good. <clears throat> Look at this. The embroidered bear that I sewed on for you is stained with the liquid. My bear. My bear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happened to the bear? What about it? Grandpa. Grandpa, my bear got stained with some liquid, with vegetable juice. The bear is stained with vegetable juice. What exactly does that mean? It's too hard for Grandpa to understand. I can't explain it to you. All that happened is the lunch bag got stained from the leftovers. Hey, Mom, can you hang my lunch bag later on? Did it all come off? Please don't stain it again. Uh. We're having sukiyaki for dinner. Sounds great. No leftovers, okay? Hey, Hanawa-kun's house apparently eats their vegetables with special French-made dressing. We should try that, too. Hanawa-kun's house is special. Don't try to be like their family. I'm not saying that I want to try and do everything that Hanawa-kun does. It's just a bottle of dressing. We can't even afford that. Is it that expensive? Yes, it's expensive. We can't afford that now. Uh, when you can't eat it, you want to eat it even more. That special French dressing. I feel like I'm even going to dream about dressing tonight. You should dream about something better, baby. Uh, the special dressing. Hey, Maruko, Maruko, come here. Yeah, what? Come over here. I've got a snack for you. Here, this is it. I got it from somebody who went to Tokyo, and this is a quality French snack. Wow, that's great! Why did someone who went to Tokyo give you a French snack? So, in the end, is it Tokyo snack or a French snack? Which one is it? Eh? The souvenir from Tokyo that's French. Is it a Tokyo snack or a French snack? Tomozo thinks there are still so many questions that I cannot answer. I'm gonna eat one. Well, a French person born in Tokyo is French, isn't that right? So does it mean a souvenir of French confectionery from Tokyo is French-made? No. No, it's not. Maruko, this snack is a French snack made in Tokyo. So it is actually a snack from Tokyo. But it's a French snack. Got it? 
so I guess you couldn't figure it out. Uh... I don't care if it's from Tokyo or France. Let's eat it together. Yes, let's do that then. Um... Oh, oh, it's so, so good! good! Bonjour, mon ami. Bonjour, mon ami. My, My dear sky in Paris. Paris. Lovely France. France. Amusing, Amusing France. 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 Please come, come visit, visit us. us. Uh -oh. I'm saying delicious from the bottom of my heart. I really feel like I've been to Paris now. Can I have another one? Sure, go ahead. Big sis, big sis, this snack is really delicious. Grandpa gave it to you. Oh, thank you. I'll eat it later. Why don't you eat it now? It's so delicious. But sis, we're having dinner soon, right? I don't want to lose my appetite. Uh, I forgot about dinner. I ate two already. I wonder if I can eat sukiyaki. Maruko, eat all your vegetables, too. I'm starting to get full already. Why are you so full already? You only ate half of your rice, too. I can't help it. She can't help it! Huh? Maruko ate a Tokyo French snack just a few minutes ago. She can't help it. Huh. Well, either way, Maruko, at least eat your scallions. What? That's right, Maruko. Go on, eat the scallions. You're gonna get a lot smarter from eating them. That's right. Scallions are really good for your brain. You're kidding me. That's just some sort of myth. If everyone gets smarter by eating scallions, then no one would be dumb. Here you go with that again. How come you never believe what your parents tell you? That's not good. That's because there are times when you tell me lies. Huh? Maruko, your mother's 100% right. You've got to believe what your parents say to you. Scallions are good for your brain. I really love scallions. <laughs> Everyone realized it all at once that scallions don't have any effect on the brain. After that, Maruko refused to listen to her parents even more, including her eating habits. <laughs>